Hello, all my friends. Welcome back to IDG. This is your host, Jason. Thank you for tuning in with us. Please smash the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Just let's just go ahead and dive into this. I have been a little busy in my personal life. I haven't been able to get to my mail calls for a few days a week. Everything is good. Thankfully, I am starting to settle down a little bit. So we're going to have a look at some of my recent mail calls. Most of these I haven't actually looked at. I did crack the boxes uh, so that we can get into them. It's your full disclosure. Here is Top Gun Maverick, which I remember seeing these on the shelf. But that is before I owned a Dodge Challenger and before I went down the full rabbit hole of collecting these. Like a nice little Raptor. In there, in a jet fuel truck. This is a pretty smoking cool five pack, if I do say so myself. 56 Aston Martin was the other one. That was a 2010 Ford Raptor petrol pumper and swing wing. This listed 19. I think this was a 2020 release, but pretty cool cars, honestly. And, uh, I, of course, am going to be after that one right there. Next up, you guessed it. We're not going to do it today, but here is another one. And just guessing, just looking at this, I think these must have come from Dollar General. I think that's where I seen them. I don't think it was an exclusive to that store, at least not that I'm aware of. But this was a good online deal, and it happened to have two of these. I figured, what the hey? Um, so this one here, just thought it'd be nice to have them both. This is actually in stores now, but it was kind of a bonus. For what I paid for all three of these, um, I basically was taxed if I went and bought all three of them in the store. That's about uh, what it would run. So the jet is a little different. Maybe just missing the wing tempo. So when you see the top, the cockpit door there, it's totally different. Um, but I thought that'd be neat to have those. Uh, this was just really sort of a freebie uh, that come along with what I was already what I was already wanting. Mini Cooper Mustang and a Bronco, a nice CJ there. 72 Bronco Jeep 4x4 Swing Wing, 2019 Mustang, 2011 Mini Countryman. Let's just stack these right here. There you have it. That's what I was after. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm a little Challenger crazy. Just bear with me the next couple of weeks on the Challenger uh, exclusives because they are coming. Stay tuned. Appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. We appreciate each and every one of you. Appreciate your feedback. Catch you on the next one, friends. Bye-bye. <laughs> Y'all forgive me. Uh, can you say I covered up the other stuff I was going to open and just completely uh, forgot to show it? Well, I did. So here is the rest of this unboxing. Y'all forgive me. Hopefully some of you tuned in to the end and was able to see this. Here is another recent grab. I bet you have a feeling. Like I have a feeling. <laughs> what could it be? It's a Dodge Challenger. Matchbox. Matchbox Monday. Everyday Matchbox. This is plum crazy. I'm about 99% positive. Beautiful color. Not going to lie. I ordered this one before I could find my own personal hoard of these because I grabbed a few of them. I've got at least four or five of these. It, just the color is so beautiful. And I was collecting these before I even knew that I was finally, eventually going to get me a Challenger. This is... Beautiful, beautiful color, beautiful casting. This is honestly it's one of my favorites. And probably secretly deep down, one of the reasons why uh, I ended up actually getting a Dodge Challenger to begin with. Because that is just so cool. So we got one more box here. I haven't opened these. You know, I was telling you for safety purposes, I have at the box and i know what's in here but got a good idea but we're actually seeing these together for the first time so without further ado get this off oh, he just flew right out of there and some of these are a little crusty a little rusty we got cheerios on the back 
43. Looks like we got Richard Petty on the side. It's actually pretty cool. A little used. Reese's Puffs, which is probably what that came in. All right, now. Let's save that one for last. So this one, I honestly did not know exactly what I have now that I've got this in hand and looking at it. Honestly, way cooler than I thought. A little America there. The windshield's a little fluffed, but this is definitely a track car. A little slot car, if you will. It's still got the, the connection still there. Still got the post. Might be able to even get that going. A little stripped out there. May take that apart sometime and do it exclusive, but that is undoubtedly. Let's see what it says. Next hour, Dragston, made in Hong Kong. That's pretty cool. It looks like a, almost like a little Porsche to me. 356, maybe. Not sure. I'll get back to you on that, but that's definitely cool. I like it. But this is just a, a little lot, I'll just tell you, under $10. Um, and some random little pieces. This is one from my childhood. Really classic. Right heat. Classic little hot rod. Looks like a moonshine runner. 33 willies. Street rod. <laughs> I don't know if that's a known error. Looks like it says S-T-R-E-E-Y. Street rod. That's interesting. Never noticed that. But still... Nonetheless, really cool. Had one of these when I was a kid. A little crusty, a little rusty. Um, it was part of this lot that I bought. I don't know if there was five or six cars. I guess it was six. Like I got two more in here. I'm saving the best for last on purpose. Here is. Down. This one's got some miles on it. A nice little Rusties. Daughter loves Lightning McQueen. Fast wheels. I don't think we have this one. This one's got a little preload, but hey, so what? Look at a lot of my other cars that I have. Now, this is pretty cool. Honestly, was just looking at really one car in this lot. I didn't. Didn't notice how cool some of these were. 1950 Mercury Casho Custom. It was actually put together with screws, which is very interesting. Uh, this is a Maisto made in China. Windshields broke off, but check that out. Got a lot of little interior details. Um, got some really nice scallops and stuff there on the car. They have to look this one up. Uh, See what that looked like with the windshield. Maybe if it come with a hauler or whatever. Wee hauling. Wee hauling. Wee hauling. <laughs> That's cool. All right. So, last in this case, certainly not least, is this little guy. Whom I'm hoping will maybe clean up a little bit. I recognize it. It definitely has some wear. Not perfect by any means. But what we're looking at here, another Dodge SRT8 by Matchbox. And this one is from 2009, 10-pack. And that 10-pack, uh, just go looking for one and get back to me. Good luck. Very, very, very hard to find. I could not find one. I scoured the internet. I didn't post about it on my social medias, but I just really, really, really looked and could not find one. Um, so I'm happy to have this one in any shape. This should complete my collection, hopefully, of these Dodge Challenger SRT8s. There is 13 of these, I think. I know Friday the 13th is come and gone and Halloween is over, but this is just a nice little grab. This was just in a random little collection of six cars that I bought for like 
six or seven dollars. I think it was 12 bucks with shipping and everything. Um, but this one is very, very hard to come by. That was my unicorn um, in this part, in this stage of the Matchbox SRT8 collection completion mission. So there you have it. Sorry if I rambled on about that and those. I hope that you are enjoying the videos. I'm having a blast making them. That's all that matters, right? It's all about the fun. We hope you're having fun too. If you're not, leave us a comment. Like, comment, subscribe to our channel. We're thankful for each and every one of you and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye, friends, for this episode of Matchbox Monday. Like and comment and subscribe our channel.